Harry, I want to ask you about your, your nephew, if that's OK. We were just chatting before you joined us this morning about that incredible moment when you were at West Ham and uh, you, were, you were sitting there at the press conference and defending Frank Lampard against some, some uh, fan criticism at, at that early stage of his career. You talked then about what an amazing player he was going to be. Did you really know, is my first question, and, and did you also know much later down the line that he would go on to be a, a successful manager? Well, I certainly I knew it wouldn't be for the lack of trying, David, that he would become a top player. I've never ever, and I, I, and I say this honestly, I've never seen any footballer come anywhere near... Well, the only one I've seen who came near him was his dad for training. His dad was incredible every afternoon putting his spikes on. And the kid was the same. I would look out of my, my office at Chadwell Heath at West, when I was at West Ham and 200 yards in the distance, raining, getting dark, four o'clock, winter's day, there'd be Frank, bag of balls, shooting, left foot, right foot, left foot, picking the balls, going back again, round the cone, left foot shot, right putting his spikes on, doing his sprints. The first time I ever saw him do it, I called the groundsman and I said, someone's over there, jumped over the fence. There's a nutter over there running up and down. I said, he went, no, it's young Frank. And uh, and that's what he wanted. He wanted it so bad. He used to go home and run around the streets at night, put a wetsuit on or dustbin line, go and go and have a lot, have a run. Because when I signed him, I'll be truthful, when I signed him, I had some fantastic judges with the youth team. Uh, who were great youth coaches. They said, Harry, he's, he's never going to make it. He can't run. He can't get around the pitch. How's he ever going to be a player? You know, but he made himself into a... He genuinely made himself into a player just by practising and training and running and working and that desire to be a top player. And, and that's what he did and, and what a player he became. And what about the manager bit? Well, yeah, I had no doubts. I mean, Mel Morris, uh, I, I'll be honest, uh, you know, I got him an interview, I got him the 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 the, uh, the, the job at uh, Ipswich uh, with Marcus Evans. I phoned Marcus Evans. I said, listen, you you need a manager, Frank Lampard, your man. He met him, loved him, offered him the job. Frank said, Harry, they've got no budget. It's difficult there. Yeah, I've got no, I can't bring any players in. I can't, what can I do? You know, I'm, yeah, I said, it's a great club, Ipswich, Frank, but you're going to need a bit of help. You ain't got a magic wand. And suddenly the Derby job come available and I rung Mel Morris. Mel's got a house up the road from me and I, I'll get on ever so well with him. And I said, Mel, you, your manager, you're looking for a manager. He said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for an experienced manager. I said, Mel, you keep getting managers and getting rid of them. I said, you, you, you've you not been very clever at picking managers. Take Frank Lampard. No, he said, no, he's got no experience. I said, well, you know, there's been lots of uh, managers gone, great managers gone out straight from playing. You've got people like, you've got one in, in, in now, Graham Soonish. You, you know, you, you've got yeah, Kenny Dugleish. We're going back into, I know, but... Now we've got Steven Gerrard, but I said, listen, he knows the game. What is, you know, the kid's a great professional. He understands football. it will be fantastic for you. It'll bring so much to Derby County Football Club. Anyway, he said, well, maybe as an assistant, I might be interested in talking to him. I said, no, he wants to be a manager, Mill. Meet him. Meet him. Please have a meeting with him. He said, well, you know, I said, when are you in London? He said, well, I'm in London tomorrow. I said, well, I'll ring Frank. I said, I've not even spoke to him. He may not be interested in the job. I made a meet for him next day. I rang Frank. He said, yeah, I'd love to meet him. Mel rang me. They had a meeting at 7 o'clock. He rang me up. past eight. Mel, Mel Morris. He said, oh, my God, Harry, he's blown me away. He said, I've given the job. And that was it. <laughs> I had no doubts he was, he'd be a success. He's, he's a clever, bright lad. He, he's, his work ethic is incredible. He knows the game. He's been brought up with the game. It, it'll be amazing. 